Hello YouTube, Rob here. I'd like to take a few minutes just to uh, go over a gun I just purchased recently. <clears throat> I actually bought the uh, Ruger American Compact and this gun on the same day. Uh picked this up at Bud's Gun Shop in Lexington. Um, it was $179 and it is the new Ruger Wrangler. And we'll just unbox it here. Of course, I have unboxed this and taken it out and shot it. But this is pretty well the way it come in the box. It was in a plastic bag. But you have the revolver itself. And I got the one in what they call burnt bronze. And inside the box, you just basically have your paperwork gun lock and that's pretty much it so not much in the box to talk about but the gun is a pretty sweet little single action revolver okay got that out of the way so I picked the burnt bronze one um, primarily because it was the cheapest of the three options. It was one seventy nine. Um, at the time, the black one was closer to two hundred. Uh, I really like this gun, so I, I, uh, I'll probably end up buying another one, maybe the silver finish. But the Cerakote finish on this gun is outstanding. There's no imperfections in the finish of course like i said i have fired the gun um, it's your typical single action revolver does not have to and it is not loaded gun has been safety checked there's no rounds in it so the ruger has the internal transfer bar safety so you do not have to put the gun on half cock in order to rotate the cylinder when you open the loading gate that allows it to free spin and it can go forward or backward uh, which makes it easier to load because sometimes on the ones that index if you go slightly past you have to go all the way back around so this makes it fairly easy uh, the gun itself is fairly heavy weight it uh, feels substantial in the hand it's not cheap filling by any means it weighs 30.3 ounces and that's that's pretty good weight it's got a good heft to it it's uh, definitely a well-made firearm of course it's obvious that the the hammer is probably a mem part um, the frame is aluminum and the the grip frame itself is a, a die cast probably a um, magnesium or something like that type of uh, metal but I have shot it it uh, it's 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 fairly accurate for the the rudimentary sights it has on it of course it just has the notch rear sight and just a, a blade front sight I think what will help in the future is I'm going to take and put a little paint right on this to make it a little more visible but it seems to shoot to point of aim. I haven't really put a lot of rounds through it yet. I'll probably put 50 rounds. Uh, more or less just, just testing it out. Uh, when the weather warms up, I'm going to put some more in it. But disassembly of the guns real straightforward. You have your button here on the side. You depress that. You pull your pin out. Cylinder comes out. The cylinder is recessed, so the heads of the 22 cartridges lay flush with the cylinder. Uh, Assembly is just as easy. Drop your cylinder back in. Take your cylinder pin. Push. Helps a little bit to push that button just a little bit to let it get started. Line it up. Sometimes I struggle with that and put it in function uh it's a real sweet little gun the 
the hammer uh, to pull the hammer back is a little stiff uh, I have a heritage rough rider and the, the hammer definitely is easier to pull back on the rough rider the trigger is a little heavier than the rough rider too and I'm gonna be doing a video here in a little bit comparing the two uh, but I just thought I would let you all have a quick look at the uh, Ruger Wrangler uh, this is an outstanding gun for the money and I would highly recommend it if you're in the market for a 22 just to go out and plink uh, just something to have this is an outstanding little gun at a great value um, I appreciate you watching my videos if you like them give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel I'm new so uh, any subscribers I can get is one more than I had before. So uh, I appreciate you watching and until the next video, thank you.